Robin is alive? That's impossible. No, it's not. I kept her alive. For you, Anna. How did you do that? How did you keep her alive and hidden from me for all this time when you've been in prison? How did you do that? I have my collaborators outside, of course. Who? I want names. Who? Jerry Jacks. The late Dr. Ewan Keenan. And the lion's share of help came from one of my most trusted associates, Dr. Lisa Obrecht. Oh, yes, I'm familiar with Dr. Obrecht. She's devoted to you, loyal to a fault. It seems that she would rather die than to break your confidence. Yeah, that's one of her admirable qualities, yes. Do you know she tried to kill someone in order to gain your affection? Well, she's in love with me! That's not that I want to make you jealous. She always has been. You must have some attachment to her, given everything she's done for you. I have never returned her feelings. And I never will. Never? Anna. You're the only woman in my life. I love you. What is it? What do you need to tell me? Mac, um... What? Robert, tell me. I mean, it's like you just said. We can trust Mac. Well, it's not about trust. I know what it feels like to get your hopes up, only to have them crushed. Rob, you know, I've been thinking that in, instead of... In, instead of Robin's funeral, we should be thinking about her as... as she was with us, you know, full of love and... Full of hope and a belief that any, anything was possible. You're right. That's who she was. And it's what she would have wanted from us. And you know, if anything's possible, maybe... Maybe she can hear us right now, wherever she is. Maybe she, she can hear what we say. Happy birthday, Robin. Happy birthday, sweetheart. We love you. Kissed me back. Not Scorpio, not Lavery, but me. Yes, I did. You returned my feelings, I could feel it. Is it possible? You love me? Yes, I love you, Cesar. Excuse me. I'm here to see Cesar Faison. I knew if I told you about Robin, you would fall in love with me. Finally. And you have. Haven't you? Uh -huh. Yes, I love you. Thank you. I love you. Do schmutziges. Schwein. And that's what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can I? Somewhere, Britt. We'll find him. We'll... Oh, she, she took my baby. She took off in a plane. Well, she couldn't have just vanished. There has to be a, a flight plan. Yeah, well, if there was, it's been expunged. That's not possible, though. Yeah, actually, it is. Orect has covered her tracks, which is no mean feat. She's not working alone. 
She has help. Powerful help. Hey, uh, I just got off the phone with the PCPD. What did Anna say? I, I didn't. I didn't speak to her. Apparently, she's out of the country. Sorry to disappoint you, but your precious Ella is far away from here. I'm Anna Devane. I have clearance from the WSB. Yeah, it is right here. I proved that she says a fazan. That that is strange. What is? Uh, according to the visitor's log, you're already with him. Get away from me! Jerry, get in here now! Jerry! Whoa, 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 be quiet. You're gonna wake the baby up. We wouldn't want that, would we? So... What's the problem? There is no problem, and you won't have a problem either, soon. Are you saying... You are not going to die of polonium poisoning. I've done it. I can cure you. With this. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now is your turn. Let me go. Wow. Two first class tickets to Tokyo? That's right, man. We're going to Tokyo. It doesn't stop there. Wait, wait, wait. What if I had picked Paris or something? Or, no way. No, you yeah. didn't. In Paris. But, I mean, when are we gonna find time to take gonna find three time. trips? They're non-refundable because I didn't want to give you an excuse to leave. Hey, it might take us the rest of our lives to do these trips, but we're gonna do them. Sorry, yeah, I went and grabbed a coffee. Oh, sorry, here, let me help you with these. Sorry. Two tickets to Paris? No way. Did I ruin the surprise? Patience, my dear. No one's going anywhere yet. I'm not your dear, and that wasn't the arrangement. I find your cure, and you let me go home. How do I know this isn't one of your tricks, and you're going to inject me, and I'm going to keel over dead? Because I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that with everything at stake. I mean... You said yourself, I I'm not a murderer. Oh, I did, didn't I? Mm. But that was before you flipped the switch and tried to kill Dr. Obrecht by turning her into Teutonic ice sculpture. I am telling you the truth, and I, I don't know how to prove that to you. Hmm, but I do. Luke! <gasps> it's okay. It's Tracy. <sighs> Tracy. Precious popsicle. Spanky buns, take your pick, it's just me. Spanky. Elena was here. I was dying, she was surrounded in flames. Sounds about right. She was pushing me into the abyss. Look at me. Elena's not here, you were dreaming. It's so real. Well. Elena's not going to get you. And you're not dying, not on my watch. If she wants you, she's going to have to fight me to get you. Anna's out of the country. It, it shows uh, she's following a lead on my mother. Not, not exact. Robert Scorpio uh, came out of his coma. She went to Switzerland to check on him. So what does that mean? That no one's no, working on the case? No, no one's no, no. looking for no, my son? Right, that's not what that no, means. I told you Anna hates me. She was never no, even going to look doesn't. for bed. She's like, not abandoning your son. She's in a different continent. Yes, I know that, but she's put her best people on the case. They're not giving up, I promise you. 
I'm sorry. No, no you, don't, you don't have to be sorry. No, I'm acting like a crazy person. You know, you're acting like a mother who's worried sick about her child. Blaming Anna? Making her the villain? I mean, we all know who's responsible for this nightmare, my own mother. How dare you? What's the meaning of this masquerade? Does it really require explanation? Yes, it does! Disguising yourself as an empty vein, kissing me! Disgusting! You don't even come close to her! Your surprise is laughable, considering all I did was take a page from your book. You committed the same offense against that bony shrew with your overwrought masquerade as Duke Lavery. I had very good reasons to disguise myself. To win Anna, he reasoned for everything. And do you know what? And by the way, the thoughts I shared were private. They were not meant for your ears. Believe they were meant for hers. If I could end this, no. I would. Shut up. Pretending to be Duke was the only way I could get her attention. The only way I, way I, I could get close to her. I'm sorry, I'm already with him? What? That doesn't make sense. I just came on duty, but uh, according to the visitor's log, you signed in 30 minutes ago. Well, obviously, it's wrong. I'm standing right here. Yeah, Steinmauer is a supermax facility. They're not in the habit of making mistakes. <laughs> I'm Anna Devane. Uh, and the easiest way to prove it is to go in there and find out whoever is with Faison, because whoever it is, it's not me. Wait. Oh. I do not care what kind of clearance you have. You cannot just barge in there. Listen, this is a matter of life and death. Do you understand? I need to see Faison, and you are preventing me from doing that because of some clerical error. Look, I do not Who know. Who is your supervisor? Perhaps she can straighten this whole thing out. Yeah, it is a he, or just wait. <sighs> this has to be as a mistake. You think? Yeah. I will go and see what has happened. But do not go in there. Okay, you have 10 minutes. After that, all bets are off. Hi, Duke. Anna, it's so good to hear your voice. How is Robert? Uh, uh, well, he's good, all things considered. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. It really is. Listen, uh, there's something that I, uh, I need to run by you. All right. It's going to sound crazy, but... I'm at the Metrocourt Hotel with Olivia Falconari, and uh, she's had another one of her visions. Oh. What did she see this time? Faisal. What was he doing? Well, brace yourself for this, but, uh... He was kissing you. Why do you do this to me, Cesar? The mutter of your child? Oh, go away. You deserve to suffer. Do you realize, Anne, after what you put me through? When I heard Anna was going to come and see me, you, you raised my hopes, and then you come in, and then you dash them in the most cruel way possible. If this is payback, fine, fine. You made your point. You got your little revenge. Now get out. Get out. Get out! Not so fast. Yearning for the touch of your lips was not the only reason for my getting in here. I had something to tell you. Why? Why? I wanted to tell you about your grandchild. 